Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about equivalence of propositions. In our last class, we clearly discussed about how to construct the truth tables for the propositions. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, two propositions X and Y are equal. When we are going to say that two propositions X and Y are equal, here propositions means compound statements are equal. If the resultant truth values are same for all possible input truth values, with, with example we are going to understand it better. Let us take an example X, this is one proposition, Y, this is another proposition, P implies Q is one proposition, negation P, disjunction Q is another proposition. These propositions, these two propositions are equal. When we are going to say that these two propositions are equal, that equal to symbol is given like this. This is what the equivalent symbol is. So, if, if you take any of the input truth value possibilities, let us take PQ, what is the first input truth possibility is T and T. For this, the output should be same for both the values, for both the propositions. Means P implies Q, what is the output? True. For negation P or Q, what is the output? True. Both are same. Take the next possible input truth value, true and false. For this, what is the output? F and F. Means both are same. Take the next possible input truth value, false and true. What is the output? T and T. Both are same. Take the last one, F and F. Means false and false. What is the output? True and true. Both are same. So, if this is maintained for all the possible input possibilities, both should be same. Then we say that these two equations, these two propositions are equal. Means instead of using this proposition, you can use this proposition. This is the point you need to understand. We are going to use this in our coming classes. Instead of using this proposition P implies Q, you can go with the negation P or Q. Both are same. So, this is what you need to understand for equivalence of propositions. Hope you understand what equivalence of proposition means. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.